Sadly, if you wanted the Resurgence Mega Capsules, it is too late. Although, you still have two weeks to be able to open those that you already, already have in your inventory. Hi guys, welcome to Multiverse. So obviously today, we are going to take a look at the Dark Multiverse Time Capsule. Let's get this party started. So the Dark Multiverse Time Capsule started dropping today. So as you can see, if you open 15 Dark Multiverse Time Capsule, you get something called a Starfield Window. If we're lucky, well, I'm going to open roughly 20, maybe 25, I'm still thinking about it. So we should be able to see that Starfield window. Also, if you see the rewards, there's the black and white neon chroma pack. This is the uber rare reward that sadly, uh, I've seen on the forum, some people have opened 500 Dark Multiverse, uh, Multiverse Time Capsule, and they still did not get the neon chroma pack. So that one seems to be uber rare, and it'll be even more rare because as you can see, you can decide to have it either to be black or white. So people are people who want to be completest, they're going to want two of those. So right now, from what I understand, the prices on the broker are pretty insane, and that is assuming that it is on the broker. Last I checked, there was not a single black and white neon chromo pack on the broker. And uh, from what I read on the forums, people put it on the broker for like a billion dollars, and it actually sells at that price. So good luck trying to get those. There's the uh, third Thunderstorm Aura collection. Uh, the Thunderstorm Aura is a reactive aura. Basically, when, when you go into combat, uh, there's some uh, additional effect that gets added to the aura. Uh, the Thanagar's Champion Hel Helmet Collection, that's the Hawk Girl. Uh, if you saw Hawk Girl in the Justice League uh, animated series, it's, it's, her, it's her helmet. It's pretty much that simple. There's the Laughing Accessory Collection. There's a bunch of ha 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 that flows around your character as some sort of... Uh, looks a little more like an aura, but it seems to be an accessory, so even better. And there's the Enhanced uh, and Shadowed Gear. Or the end shadowed gear that is the gear that comes with the uh, the dark multiverse type capsules uh, it seems to be geared that that is inspired by uh, hawk girl from the the dark multiverse or something like that i have to admit i'm not sure exactly but it looks like a an evil version of hawk girl or hawkman maybe and of course you get the usual uh, nth metal source marks quarks and all that good stuff uh, so sadly today we no longer uh, drop the, the resurgence mega capsules no longer drop in the game but if you already have a bunch in your inventory, you can keep them at least for a while. Uh, roughly, those uh, no usually when you when they drop in the game, they last for 14 days. So you can see I have some that have 10 days left, 12 days left. So roughly in two, you still have two weeks to be able to open your resurgence mega capsules if you want to. But after that, uh, after two weeks, there will be no more resurgence mega capsules in the game. So if you want to open those resurgence mega capsules, you have 14 days to, in order to be able to do that, and that's assume that that's uh, assuming that uh, your resurgence mega capsule will expire in 14 days. Like as you can see, uh, some of mine will expire in eight days. So if you want to open that mega capsules, I have to do it before eight day, otherwise I'm going to lose it. But I have a few like uh, 30, 13 days seems to be my uh, highest. I guess I didn't play enough uh, yesterday to get a few. Uh, Mega capsules, and it happens. If you do have a bunch of resurgence mega capsules that you know that you will not open them before they expire, don't delete them. Just just sell them on the vendor. Uh, as you can see, you can get you can make $175. Not a lot, but it's better than nothing. So don't delete them. Just just sell them on the vendor. So right now, the time capsule that drops in the game is the Dark Multiverse time capsule. Usually, people will ask how long will it last. Usually, time capsule lasts for 8 weeks. So in roughly 8 weeks, we should get a new time capsule that will drop in the game instead of the Dark Multiverse time capsule. So basically, you have 8 weeks to be able to open time capsules and hope to get the stuff that you need. The one good thing about time capsules is that as you play the game, uh, they, they stack up to 999, and as you play the game, you will gather a whole bunch of them. Again, don't delete them. Keep them in your bank, in your shared bank, and you're going to be able to open them as time goes by. If for some reason you only open a few uh, Dark Multiverse Time Capsules, put the rest that you have in your bank, and once in a while, if you want to, you can still open them if you need to. Now, often people will ask, how do you make money in DC Universe, on DC Universe Online? That is one way. I keep all the old Time Capsules that I got playing the game. I did not open them all. Those that I no, no, did not open, I save them for a rainy day. So once in a while, if I need to make a bit of cash, I'll open, let's say, a few Paradox Time Capsules using some free stabilizers, and I'll sell whatever I get on the broker. 
In the Dark Multiverse Time Capsule, drop roughly every 20 minutes of gameplay. So as you play the game, when you defeat an enemy, 20 minutes later, you should be able to get a Dark Multiverse Time Capsule. Again, as usual, it requires one stabilizer to unlock. But if you go to the marketplace, as you can see, you can purchase some unlocked Dark Multiverse Time Capsule for 90 marketplace cash. And that is if you are a subscriber. If you're not a subscriber, it's going, it's going to be 100 marketplace cash. So roughly $1 per Time Capsule. So if you purchase them on the, on the marketplace, they're already unlocked. So you, you, you don't need to do anything else. Just open them. Uh, if they drop in the game, in the game, you need to use stabilizers to open them. So it's the same price. I guess if you purchase 20 stabilizers, you're going to save a few pennies. But roughly the price is the same. Whether you purchase them already unlocked or whether you, you purchase stabilizers and you open those that drop in the game, uh, it'll be the same thing. So today I will purchase 20 Dark Multiverse Time Capsules and we're going to open them right now. So let's get this party started. Uh, also, I often mention that if you are a subscriber, you get a 10% discount on anything you purchase on the marketplace. Now, some of you guys were asking if we needed a code or something like that to be able to get the 10% off. Uh, you don't. As soon as you are a subscriber, you get the discount automatically. So you can see normally the item costs 100 marketplace cash. The membership discount is 10 marketplace cash so i can purchase the unlocked dark multiverse type capsules for 90 marketplace cash oh turns out i'm a liar liar pants on fire i purchased 21 21 unlocked uh, dark multiverse time capsule so let's start opening them usually i try to get the gear early on but uh, there's a few things like uh, uh, gloves or belt or boots these are items that we're gonna get over and over and over so usually if I can get something better early on I'll, I'll try to get that uh, we'll see I, may, I might try to get a collection instead of, uh, of the boots or the gloves or the belt uh, we'll see how it goes so let's get this party started so yeah, as you can see we have the uh, enshadowed uh, boot box we got the uh, Egyptian relic the bear totem emblem and 10 quarks we'll go for the, the relic in, in this case and I'm going to consume it right away so that if I see it again, I'll know that I already have it. So you can see it's a, the first of 12 collection. That, that seems to be to be able to get the Hawk Girl headpiece. So let's continue. So here we have the Laughing Fish, Bear Totem, and Enshadowed Belt. Let's go for the Laughing Fish. I have no idea if this is a rare one. Uh, let's uh, let's consume it again. One out of twelve, and that's the one to be able to get the jo the uh, Joker accessory, the haha -ha accessory. Butterfly image, or the enhanced uh, shadowed belt. Uh, let's go for the butterfly image, and let's consume it so that we know we already have it. Uh, let's go for the electrified head buzzer. Although the Black Hawk emblem, uh, decisions, decisions. Uh, let's go for the emblem because why not? We need at least a few emblems to be able to show you what the emblems look like. So let's continue. Again, the Black Hawk emblem. Uh, I guess it wasn't uh, such a good idea. So let's go for the collection. In doubt, I'll probably go for the collection in order to try to. Hopefully, get close to completing a collection. I can guarantee you right now, with only 20 time capsules, uh, I, I strongly doubt that I'll be able to complete a single collection. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, the pants or the... Well, let's go for the collection again. We already got this one, so let's go for the pants in this case. So you can see the the pants are item level 242. That's going to be the maximum. Uh, right now, the gear I have is uh, 200, 243, uh, or some is 241. So I might be able to upgrade maybe one piece of gear or two. We'll see how it goes. So the gear is uh, 242, but it scales to your level. So if you are a low level character, 
the gear will scale scale roughly to your level and the maximum level you can get is 242 so if your combat rating is uh if you have some gear that's 243 the gear is no longer good for you sadly uh, let's go for the collection again oh actually this is a first I never thought this would happen. I got the black and white neon chromo pack. I usually never get those rare items, so I'm pretty happy today. So we are going to be able to take a look at the black and white neon chromo pack. I would be tempted to sell it on the broker for like a billion dollars, but uh, I, I don't I don't do that. So let's collect this little collection so that we can know if we have it already or not. So as you can see, we already got the collection, so we'll go for something we don't have. Uh, decisions, decisions. Uh, let's go for the belt in this case. We saw the bear totem already a few times. Let's see which one we have, the Black Hawk. Uh, let's cons consume it just to be safe. And let's continue. Oh, this one, I'll, I'll go for the back piece. The wings are... Holy crap, that is, uh, not sure what to say. So let's open the next one. Actually, yeah. So we got the black and white neon chroma pack. So uh, I'm going to be able to get the black version and the white version, if I'm lucky. I have to admit, this never happened to me before, ever. So let's consume uh, any joke in the storm. So we're at 3 out of 12. Again, I strongly doubt we'll ever complete a collection with only 12, uh, 20, uh, 20 time capsules. I will probably open a few more at some point. Uh, we'll see how it works out. Uh, the boots or the hand buzzer. Uh, let's go for the buzzer. We do have 12 collections uh, times 3, so 36 collections. So I, I do have a tendency to, to go for the collections because we, we need a lot of them to be able to try and complete uh, the collections. Obviously, the tough one to get is the, the rare collection. So here we'll go for the Dragon Hawk Emblem. And let's consume it because why not? I'll show you uh, the emblems that I have and the stars that I have uh, a bit later in the video. So here we got the shoulders, itching powers, itching powder. Uh, let's go for the powder. And of course, as you saw, I will sh I'll show it to you with the, the next one. Oh, and we got uh, a little feet. So we got uh, the NN's bear totem, the wind machine. Uh, let's go for the wind machine. I think this is the first one we got for that collection. Yeah. So 1 out of 12. Uh, from what I understand, this is probably the rare collection. Uh, the rarest garlic collection. We'll have to wait and see. So for the feet we got... So we got the feet basically for opening 15 uh, Dark Multiverse Time Capsule. And we should get by mail the reward that comes with that. Sometimes the mail takes a while, so if you do unlock the feat and you don't get the reward right away, don't panic, that's normal. Usually the, the mail is a bit slow, especially today. Today a lot of people will be using the mail, so the mail should be uber slow today. But once I get the gift by mail, I'll show it to you. So we got the enhance to a bear totem, relay, relighting kindle, candles. Ah, it's been a long day. So let's consume that. So as you can see, we're at 6 out of 12 for the any joke in Storm. Mm, decisions, decisions. Uh, let's go for the chest piece. The totem would be tempting, but uh, let's go for the chest piece. I will be able to show you a little bit what the style looks like. So we already got the pants, so let's go for the, the collection. Ooh, the helm. Uh, 
it's gonna be hard to not take the helm. So let's go for the helm. Uh, we'll probably take the rain stick because why not? And this will be our last one, at least for now. Uh, so we got the head buzzer. Uh, let's go for the bat uh, totem emblem. So let's consume the collection. And let's consume the emblem. So as you can see, we got... Uh, So we got the headpiece, the chest, the pants, the back, and the belt. We could have had the headpiece. We could have had the, the whole suit if we had taken uh, taken uh, the boots and the gloves that we saw. It uh, doesn't really matter, or even the shoulders that we saw. It uh, doesn't matter. They should be easy enough to, to purchase on a broker uh, in a couple of days. But I will try to show you the styles that I do have right now. So once you get the piece of gear, as I mentioned, the gear is item level 242 at the max. So Let's consume, consume it. So you can see the, st the style is called Hawk's Hedge. And it seems to be a, a dark multiverse version of a Hawk Girl. Unless it's supposed to be a Hawk Man. I have to admit, uh, I haven't read all the dark multiverse uh, or the, the dark metal comics. And some of those, uh, it's been a while, so I kind of forget what the whole storyline is about. So that's probably one of the few pieces I can upgrade uh, is the headpiece. So let's do that. So let's go for the chest piece. So again, as usual, you have to choose, in this case, controller or DPS. By default, when I in doubt, I go for controller all the time. 60% of the time, I go for controller all the time. I guess I could try to use this to try to build maybe some uh, DPS a set of gear, but I DPS uh, with my controller gear and it works fine. So I've got all the styles, so let's equip them. So again, the style is called Hawk's Edge. So this is a reward you get if you open 15 Dark Multiverse Time Capsules. So it's called the Starfield Window. We'll take a look at that in just a minute. So let's accept. And also I went on a spending spree. I purchased uh, the few pieces of gear I didn't have so that I could show you the whole style right now. Gloves. That's another piece I can upgrade. Shoulders. And the boots. So as we saw, you completed the style and we got the feet for it. So now let's equip the style. So the style itself is a pretty cool, look, pretty cool looking style. I can see a character or two that I could uh, try to recreate using some of those styles. Like the wings would would be perfect for an evil archangel. Uh, like when uh, Angel from the X-Men was uh, Death, the fourth horseman of Apocalypse. I might give it a try at some point. But it's a very spiky uh, 90s ki kind of design. Very inspired by the, the the designs we had in the 1990s. I will make a video just about this style when I get a chance, but here you can see you have a good idea what this style looks like. Uh, sadly, I'm gonna have to remove uh, the chest piece because the style cannot support an emblem. And let's take a look at the few uh, at the few emblems that I got, opening the time capsules. So first, we'll take a look at the Bat Totem Emblem. So here I'm using uh, the Stalwart Defender Chest to try to show it a bit bigger, but also I'm using my tapestry behind me so that you can actually get a good look at the emblem. And of course, I had to use the Spin Drift Shoulders, because why not? Greetings, visitor. Uh, it's a little too small here, doesn't matter. So it's a pretty uh, creepy bat-looking emblem. That's like a skeleton bat or something. 
So the next one we'll look at is the Dragonhawk emblem. It's a weird looking emblem again. Not sure again about the backstory. I didn't read the recent uh, Dark Metal comics. I think I read uh, one or two of them at most. So I guess I have some catching up to do and I should uh, really read some uh, Dark Metal comics to be able to catch up on the backstory. And last but not least, the Black Hawk Emblem. So these are the only emblems I have so far. And once I manage to get all the emblems, I'll make a video about uh, just the emblems and uh, I'll make a video about all of them. I might make, if somehow I get only the regular version of the emblems, I might make a video only with the, the regular, with all the regular version of the emblems. And I would probably do a follow up video at some point with all the enhanced version of the emblems. Uh, we'll see how long it takes me to be able to gather all the emblems. And now let us see what the Starfield window looks like. So as you can see, basically it's a base item that you can put at the, at the ceiling of, uh, of your base. And it shows you the universe. Unless it shows you the dark multiverse or the dark universe. I guess uh, we'll know someday. I'll try to catch up on the backstory for the Dark Knight's Medal and uh, hopefully be able to fill you in a bit more next time we make some videos. So as you, can, as you see, the black and white uh, neon chroma are not on the broker right now. If I was a greedy guy, I would probably put, th put them on a the broker for like a billion dollars. But I don't really, really care about money. I'd rather have the style right now. So basically you can see we get a reward box, the black and white neon chroma pack. And uh, when you we open it, we are going to be able to choose between the black neon chroma pack or the white neon chroma pack. So let's do this. So again, black and black or white. Let's go for the black one. Uh, so within the box, you can see we get the black neon chroma one, chroma two, and chroma three, as with as with most of the chromas. So let's close that because we don't want to open it just yet. So this is our black neon chroma pack. So let's open it. And again, we get black neon chroma one, chroma two, chroma three. So let's close that. Uh, a lot of you guys ask me how we can use the chromas and you seem to be struggling a bit. So I'll try to do a step by step here in order to be able to show you. So basically it's very simple. You consume the three chromas. Once you do that, you go into your style tab. Oh, and we got a feet, a nice 25 point feet. Oh, that is so sweet. So we go to materials. And we wait a bit because sadly there's a lot of people in today. Loading time takes a bit longer than usual today. So you can see the black neon chroma one, chroma two and chroma three. So we are going to equip them. So we're going to equip them one here to equip the other one here and the third one here so once we do that we cannot use them just yet we could decide to do apply all so we could go on one of them you see at the bottom there's apply all or clear all so we can apply it to everything or we can clear it with everything we decide but we can go also to each pieces of gear and we can select which chroma we want to use also from what I understand we should be able to change the color of the chroma oh yeah so there's a few things with this chroma. Uh, um, let's equip it first and I'll, I'll play with the colors of it after a bit. So let's go for the shoulders. So again, you can go with each pieces of style and you can decide which chroma you're going to use or if you don't use any at all. In this case, it doesn't seem to matter. So let's go here. Let's go for this one. So then the same with the chest. So let's choose. Oh, this one is nice. Let's go for this one. So the same with the hands. So basically for every pieces of style, we can select which chroma we want to use. Now let's go for this one. So once we do all that, we save and there we go. 
So this is the black version of the chroma pack. And as you guys saw, we can change the colors. So if somehow we don't like the colors, oh, one is clicked too far, too far. So we can we can change the colors as, as we wish. I'll leave it yellow, I kinda like it yellow. Let's go for, there we go. Ah, that looks better. So this is for the black neon chroma pack. So let's try the white one now. So again, same thing, we open the little box. It'll ask us to choose black or white. Choose white in this case. And then we open the, the box again. So white neon chroma one, two, three. So close. So let's consume them. And let's go to our styles tab. And then we will equip, equip the three materials. So here we go, new material. So there we go, white neon chroma one. Two and chroma three. And again, we go to each pieces of style and we can select which one we want to use. And we can play with the colors if we want to. It seems to be the slot one that affects uh, the material. So with slot one, we can tweak the, the, the look even more. So again, it seems to be pretty much the same thing, but in, sh in white as opposed to being black. So this is a demo the multiverse time capsules. So again, you get a Starfleet window when you open 15 dark multiverse time capsules. If you're lucky, and if you're very lucky like I was, you can get the black and white neon chroma pack. Uh, you can get the Thunderstorm Aura collection. If I manage to complete that collection, I will show you what the Thunderstorm Aura looks like. Is the Thanagar's uh, champion helmet. Again, once I complete the collection, I'll show you the helmet, what it looks like. The same with the laughing, laughing at accessory collection. And for the uh, enhanced, uh, for the enshadowed gear, we saw the regular version, what it looks like. Uh, I'll try to show you what the enhanced version looks like when I get a chance. And of course, as usual, you get a, a bunch of F medals or Smarks, Quarks as you open those time capsules. And that is uh, pretty much it for now, guys. And again, the time capsules will be here for roughly eight weeks. Pretty much every time capsules usually uh, are available for eight weeks. There are a few exceptions, like the Shazam time capsules, where it was available for much longer than that. But it was pretty much the exception of the exception. Uh, roughly, you can expect the Dark Multiverse time capsule to be around for eight weeks. So that should that should show you the amount of time you have to be able to gather all the rewards that you need from the Dark Multiverse time capsules. And again, once I complete uh, certain items, when I, I get certain rewards that I, I didn't get just yet, I will make videos about them. And that is pretty much it for now, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to ask so in the comment section down below, and I'll see what I can do about answering your questions. So as always, guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.